What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Yesterday we unboxed this guy, Google's latest and greatest. This is the Nexus 7 built by Asus. I've had now a day to play with it and take a closer look. I want to share with you some thoughts and impressions, take you through the operating system, and let you know what I think about the tablet only one day in. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start with the design. I've been a bit soured on seven inch tablets, having played with the Kindle Fire and the Blackberry Playbook. They've got a very slab monolithic design. Well, certainly it's minimalistic. It's not so inviting to the user. Uh, they can be a bit difficult to pick up or cumbersome. I love the design on the Nexus 7. Uh, it's actually inviting to pick up. It's got sort of a, almost a wedge type shape. So when it's sitting down on a table, there are edges that you can easily just grab and pick up. Something small and subtle, but something I really appreciated. I also like the back of it. The soft touch feel uh, makes it feel very um, non-slidey in the hand, which I know not the technical term. Uh, but the tablet just feels very good. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump into the operating system. And let me show you everything that's new with Jelly Bean. So I'll go ahead and unlock it. And let's start with the new unlock screen. Nothing really that exciting here. When you tap it, you get all kinds of sort of glowy stars. The option to either go right to Google uh, or unlock the device. We will, in this case, unlock it. Uh, so here we are in the very familiar um, Android home screen. Um, so we've got a little bit of uh, different things with the button layout here. On a tablet, we've got soft buttons, so like we have with the Galaxy Nexus. Um, one of the coolest things that I think with Jelly Bean is a new Google search. So let me go ahead and show this to you. And I did a comparison yesterday of Google search versus Siri. Uh, if you want to check that out, we'll include a link down below. What's the weather today? Forecast for Irvine today is 84 degrees and mostly sunny. So it's going to be a beautiful day here in Irvine, California. You can hear the voice there also wasn't very robotic and results come up very quickly. Now certainly there aren't many of these devices out there so the service isn't getting slammed uh, but it's been really lightning quick and it does just about everything um, that Siri does. Remind me to go to the gym tomorrow. Setting alarm. Go to the gym. And it's going to pull up some more customization options for what I want to do when I want it to go off and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's very cool and it works really well. Uh, voice dictation is now available offline as well, so it doesn't have to go off to a server. You can now get your voice dictation on uh, without having any sort of data connection, which is handy because this guy is Wi-Fi only. Um, we now have Chrome as the default browser. Um, you can download the old classic browser if you like, but Chrome is now multi-platform. We got it on tablets, we got it on iOS devices. Oh, it's really got it on everything now. And I've been using it uh, on the Galaxy Nexus for quite a while and I really enjoy it. So if you use Chrome on your desktop, uh, you're probably gonna like Chrome on the Nexus 7. Um, so Nexus 7, at least according to Google, is all about media. Uh, so you've got separate apps here for books, which come right here on the home screen. So I was reading, I think it was the Born Ultimatum. Let's see what that looks like. Got some cool animations. Uh, text is very, very crisp on the screen. At the 1280 by 800 resolution, uh, you would absolutely expect that. Buttons disappear and you get just little glowy dots that'll take you back home. Uh, we've got something for magazines as well. Take you to the Google Play Store. You can see the magazines that I have. These actually came downloaded. Of course, they want to make it easy to buy more so you can jump into Google Play to buy more magazines. Go ahead and go back. And the other cool things they showed was the new Google Currents. So go ahead and open that up. We're gonna jump right into the library. You can go ahead and add more things here. Essentially, it's a fancy RSS feed. Uh, let's go ahead and just pick one. Bleacher Report, it's for sports. I happen to like sports, so it's fetching it. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at something with the NBA draft. We'll see what the Charlotte Bobcats did. And you go ahead and look at things here and scroll back and forth. Great, nothing overly exciting. Um, but one thing that is new here is you can totally translate things. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. If I go ahead and and jump into uh, settings up there. I can go settings and I can pick uh, translation and I can translate this into another language. Let's go to Hindi. Go ahead and go back. And this should translate itself into Hindi in just a moment. At least in theory, right? There it goes. Would you like to translate to Hindi? We'll hit translate. And now it's all going to change to language I don't understand. So translation is in progress. It's still in progress. It's thinking about it. 
it's probably stopped changing pages. It's translating. So it's going to take a few minutes. We'll come back to this and see, uh, see what that looks like. Go ahead and go home. Uh, one of the other new things here in Ice Cream Sandwich has to do with widgets. So let's go ahead into a page that has something on it. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up some new widgets. And let's say I want to add a bookmarks widget. I can go and add that. Say I want to put it right here. Well, it's not going to let me, so it's going to go ahead and resize itself and put it up top. And actually, it was a bookmark for Chrome. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. And we'll go into widgets. And let's try some new. Let's try something that's big. How about YouTube widget? I'll drag it and I'll put it right there. And it resized itself for it. Kind of neat. Uh, with widgets and apps, if you want to get something off your home screen, you have the same option of just dragging it to remove like you did with the ice cream sandwich, or much more satisfyingly, you can just sort of throw it off the screen. Um, something that I found kind of neat. Uh, something else that has been surprisingly neat, um, I keep saying that a lot, is Google Now. And I really wasn't sure how to access Google Now. I found it by accident. If you hold down the home button, you get that Google button. If you go ahead and drag up to it, it's going to ask you if you want to start Google Now. And I have it started here. And it'll give you a whole bunch of different cards with information. So when I left the office this morning, it told me what the weather was and what the weather was going to be tomorrow. Uh, definitely something that you might want to try. Uh, also new is YouTube. Uh, we now have a pretty nice looking YouTube player. Uh, I thought it was really deficient actually in Android. So I've done a search here for Techno Buffalo. Let's go ahead and launch Titan 2 hands-on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the volume because you don't need to hear my voice in stereo. There we go. And uh, things play very smooth. It looks almost like a desktop experience. So you got the video that's playing, you got the information below it. You can thumb it up or thumb down. Of course you wanna thumb it up. Get more information on who the video creator is. Um, hit play again, and of course if you want to go into full screen, you just rotate it and you're in full screen. And playback looks really good. Video quality on here is absolutely uh, tremendous. So I'll go ahead and go back, and we shall go home. Uh, some other stuff here that's new, new notifications. You could sort of pull them down. If there are notifications there, you get more information on it. Go ahead and exit out of that. Uh, overall, I've been really impressed with the Nexus 7. Certainly, I want to use it for a few more days and put it through a full battery of reviews. Having something for just a day doesn't really qualify as enough time for a review, um, for my mind. Uh, but first impressions have been really positive. This thing isn't just fast for a $200 tablet. It's fast for any tablet. Uh, Tegra 3 is extremely capable. A gig of RAM is plenty. This thing is an absolute screamer. The only limiting factor that I can see uh, is storage size. 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes just might not be enough for the media hungry folks. Now certainly you can use something like Dropbox or Google Drive to store content in the cloud, but this being a Wi-Fi only device, it might not always be connected to, uh, to a network in order to stream. So something to definitely keep in mind. But as of now, I have no problem recommending uh, the Nexus 7. It's a tremendous tablet. I'm going to use it as my only tablet uh, for the time being. Anyway guys, be sure to stay tuned for a full review of this guy. Uh, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think or anything else that you want to see on the Nexus 7. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.